it wasn't that it was on the playlist. He required, he wanted Rick that. Wanted this. Yeah. So wanted this. when the <laughs> ICC Hall of Famer wants, wants, you give, you just give. You don't ask questions. Speaking yeah. of favorites, uh, Arvind, I know you've played some magnificent knocks over the years for Sri Lanka. Uh, I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite out of the lot? And I'm just going to write my personal favorite. I've seen you play so many of them. I'm just going to write it down on this paper. We're filming this live. So I want these guys to actually catch this. Uh, me writing this down right here. He's okay. become a fortune teller now. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm just going to see if I'm just going to see if we match here. Right. So now you tell us what was your can you pick a favorite innings from your entire career and say this was the one that really left uh, something in my mind. I really love this innings that I played for my country. Uh, without a doubt, uh, it's the uh, 1996 World Cup final because yeah. mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I think any cricketer's dream is to win a World Cup and to be part of that uh, yeah. amazing team mm -hmm. uh, and to have uh, made those runs in a crucial uh, situation. And also remember uh, to play, to hit the winning runs. Down leg side, that was the gun. No, 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 the winning well, runs was scored by Ar Arjuna. Scored Arjuna. Arjuna. What I'm saying is, he was part of that. Oh, yes. He was yes, part yes. of that uh, when the runs were scored. Yeah. I was close enough. This was my favorite innings. The 1996 semi final, not for any other reason, is because when you, uh, it was amazing innings that World Cup 100, uh, you know, at a stadium where that entire stadium in Pakistan was supporting Sri Lanka. But when you walked out at Eden Gardens, Sri Lanka, early losses in front of that kind of Indian crowd. And we all know what kind of crowd pressure can do to you. Sri Lankan Open is gone. World semi-final. And you played like it was a casual Tuesday, you know, no, 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 the park. no, this was like a game played during interval. Interval, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're just coming and stroking it away. Yeah. You know, he by, opened the batting, basically. By the time that uh, you were dismissed, uh, the, the Lankan damage was had, done. Uh, you know, some sort of consolidation. Yes, uh, Ranathunga, uh, Mahanam and I believe uh, Tilkratna also contributed to that uh, eventual total mm. uh, before India catapulted. But that innings, the, you did what Australia did to India yesterday. You silenced, what was it, more than 100,000 uh, 100, odd people. 120,000 Gardens. Gardens. Uh, at that uh, semi-final. My goodness, to me, that was just unbelievable. Yeah, well, I think uh, that the uh, semi-final inning was also a special one. Uh, I think, uh, especially uh, considering the fact that if not for that, we wouldn't have got into the finals. Uh, so, I guess uh, the circumstance uh, was such that uh, uh, when I walked in, uh, we were two wickets down. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, and it was an ideal sort of. Uh, situation uh, because I, I normally have been thriving in situations such as that uh, even in the past. Mm -hmm. And you like uh, to be in those situations. Well, to yeah, <laughs> I, I think the most important thing is to enjoy exactly. tough situations and, and uh, that is exactly what happened. And with, you, and with your with your personality, you are very calm, collective, you speak very soft, you know. I mean, is that your kind of approach that you take into the field as well? Because everything is falling around, you lose your opening batsman and here you are, you know. No, no, that's, that's just to throw the fastball. Oh. <laughs> because when she starts hooking and pulling, they're like, no, no, he was just, this was all just a bluff. <laughs> I mean, those hooks. <laughs> he takes, a, he goes on the back foot and then hooks them. That is that that takes the cake, man. <laughs> and and uh, another question, Arvin, that we've all seen the memes at that World Cup final. We've all seen the expressions. We remember the finals uh, for sure. But when you walked out there again with the openers gone, this is the beauty of it. Because up until the semi-finals, you know there were starts made for you whenever you walked out to bat. Uh, but this time. Uh, you know, it was the seniors had to uh, take a bit of uh, responsibility to get the job done. And that World Cup final, obviously, nothing more important than that. What was exactly going through your mind? Well, I think uh, it's um, that's that's the very reason why it's very important to have a mixture of uh, young players and, and uh, experienced players. Uh, because in crisis situations and critical situations, uh, you need to bring in experience uh, yeah. uh, because they, they're, they're the guys who have been in those kind of situations, face them and know exactly what needs to be done. Uh, and that particular, uh, from the semi-final onwards, uh, 
what uh, I told myself was uh, it's time that we, we really take the responsibility and the seniors uh, really put their hand up uh, mm -hmm. from the, the semi-final onwards. Yeah. So I think um, that's the key and uh, when I walked in, uh, as I said, uh, it, it was a moment uh, where uh, I, I, I used to thrive in situations like that uh, and uh, that was a moment uh, which I enjoyed uh, going out there and uh, doing what I really enjoy uh, doing and some something I dreamt of uh, as a child. And I'm so glad, in fact, an entire nation was so glad that it came through. In the meantime, though, we... Gold FM proudly presents the Grammy Award winning superstar group All For One. Yeah. All For One. Live in concert. Backed by their full band. Guest performance by Derek Junkir and the Redeemers. Tickets out now. Priced at 10,000 rupees. Free seating. Theatre style. Tables and cocktail tables. Available now on www.gettickets.lk.